So let's look at some compound statement. which are connective by use of the word or. Now this can also happen in two manners. One is what is called an exclusive or <coughs> and second which is called an inclusive or. Now you must be wondering what is this? Let's look at this. A student can go to the school wearing a shirt with shorts or pants now here what is happening is that this statement tells you that a student can go to the school wearing a shirt so a shirt is something which has to be worn and with shirt he can wear either shorts or pants So there are two statements here if you see, a student wearing a shirt, the second statement is a student, I am not getting into this middle detail, wearing a shirt or pants. Now if you notice closely, this is a must, but this is exclusive. In the sense, either you wear a short or you wear a pant. So the or which is used here is known as the exclusive ors because it excludes one of the two. You can't wear both shorts and pants with a shirt. I mean at two points in time you can and some people who are mischievous can even wear these pants above his short but as a full school uniform you can wear either of these two so here it is said that or is an exclusive or now let's see the second one let's have a statement smoking or drinking is injurious to health. Now the, here this word or is kind of using this and this. So if you break this down into two statements it says smoking is injurious to health. Smoking or rather drinking is injurious to health right but it also means that both smoking and drinking is injurious to health so here basically what is happening is that even smoking and drinking both of them if done together are injurious to health so this is known as an inclusive or which means basically either of these two or a combination of these two both of them are injurious to health right